And paying the bill may be the key to accessing social media this year. First Twitter, now Facebook and Instagram, they want you to pay. What for? For blue check marks and the verified title. Does this mean you lose your account if you don't pay? How much money are they asking for? And why are they asking for money after promising to keep the platform free? Our next report answers all these questions and more. Social media was once called the great enabler, a free space that enables all. It wasn't ever free though. It cost you time, your data, and your peace of mind, among other things. Well, now it will also cost you money. Meta wants you to pay. Meta is the company that controls Facebook, WhatsApp, and Instagram. It wants money from users. And what is it offering in return? A blue check mark, the one that tells the world you've got a verified account. There's also a promise, a promise of higher reach. Your posts will be seen by more people. What will this cost you? 12 to $15 a month. The announcement came on Sunday. Mark Zuckerberg, the CEO of Meta said, and I quote, this new feature is about increasing authenticity and security across our services. Not sure about that, but Zuckerberg has definitely increased the burden on users. Meta Verified will be rolled out in Australia and New Zealand this week. Then it will gradually be launched around the world. Anybody can now get verified. All they need to do is provide a government ID. Meta has promised verified users some perks. They'll get protection against impersonation. They'll get direct access to customer care. And most importantly, their reach and engagement will increase. But talking about promises, if you happen to have a look at the Facebook homepage before 2019, you would have come across a promise, one where Facebook declared that the site was free and always will be. Well, the always ends now. You must pay for a verified account and a blue check mark. But what if you don't pay? Will you then lose your account? You can still use the platform, but you won't be playing in the big league. Where does that leave you? Behind the crowd. The level playing field, if there ever was one, is now being demolished. On a platform like Instagram, where individual content creation has taken off in a big way, this could impact the reach of many influencers, especially those influencers who don't have the capacity to give $15 every month. It's pretty simple now. If you want better reach, if you want more people to view your content, and if you want higher engagement, you have to pay. If you don't, you'll be at a natural disadvantage. But why has Meta walked back on its promise to always stay free? The answer is a year, 2022. It was a particularly harsh year for the tech industry. Big tech was no exception. Late last year, Meta let go of 13% of its workforce. 11,000 employees were laid off, and it plans to lay off more. Meta has reportedly ranked 7,000 existing employees as subpar. They could end up losing their jobs. 2022 was also a year of realization for social media companies. They realized that they could not depend entirely on ad revenues to keep their ship afloat. Meta's ad revenues declined for the first time last year. Advertising revenue made up 98% of their total earnings last year. So its scheme of charging users for verification is in fact aimed at shoring up non-ad revenues. The same story at Twitter. The company's ad revenues fell by 71% in December last year. Right after Elon Musk's takeover, Twitter's ad revenues fell by 55%. And this is a company that depends on ad sales for 90% of its revenue. Elon Musk was quick to respond. He repackaged Twitter Blue and made it available to anyone who was willing to pay $8 every month. The idea is to cut dependence on advertisers. Now, there might be another reason why Meta wants to diversify its revenue portfolio. After all, advertisers will not like a large chunk of their money to be spent on one man alone. Here's what happened. Meta has said it is increasing its spending on Mark Zuckerberg. Why? To make sure he's safe. So far, Meta was spending $10 million on Zuckerberg's personal safety. Now that amount has been increased to $14 million. It's a hike of 40%. Zuckerberg can use the money for additional personal equipment, services, and residential improvement. The blue check mark is not what it used to be. It was once a status symbol. Back in the day, you earned it. Now, all you have to do is pay for it.